Um, so Christine says, I am trying to add a SharePoint communications feed on my site where employees can post questions and have uh, one of the site owners respond to them like a community forum. The goal is a learning page where everyone can read questions and answers given. Yeah, this was this was my pet question for this set, I think. Um, definitely use the sharpest tool for the job. You know, people tend to focus on whatever tool is new or um, special to them. And SharePoint's not always the answer. Yes, yeah, SharePoint communication sites are great, but that's not the tool that was meant to be a forum. Um, that's what Yammer, now known as Viva Engage, is for. So you can you can um, connect those two. They're completely integratable. So you can bring your feed from Viva Engage into a SharePoint site so you can centralize it. But that was the whole point of what Yammer was, the differentiator between Yammer, Teams, and SharePoint at that when they were originally released was Yammer was supposed to be building communities and giving people that opportunity and having that moderator that can field the questions and answer them and decide who can field the questions and who can answer them. But that doesn't mean it has to live just in Viva Engage or, you know, again, what used to be called Yammer, bring it into SharePoint. So if that's where they're working or bring it into Teams, if that's where they're working, you want to, you know, store and use the right tool, but surface it where people are, are most productive. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a uh, it, and I know this is a topic that we've discussed with uh, recordings um, uh, through this series uh, is that, you know, my, Microsoft is really uh, trying to move the SharePoint uh, organization is trying to move away from this idea of, uh, you know, uh, SharePoint as a Swiss army knife. And it can be anything that you want it to be. It's like, can you go and build a solution that does those things? Uh, using SharePoint, yes, but why not go use the tools that were built that were designed for this? Mm -hmm. yeah. That is that it's integrated fully in. I mean, what the other side too is that there's a reason <clears throat> why that uh, Viva Engage, formerly Yammer, we keep saying that it's like X or Twitter. I just like refer to it as Twitter. It's because okay nothing ever Yammer. gets rebranded, right? right. Renamed, yeah. rebranded. But, but and anyway, maybe it's, people it's, don't realize Yammer is now Viva Engage. I still have. But, the Yammer t-shirt. Thank you very much. I wear it proudly. But before but, the rebranding, Yammer numbers were, adoption numbers were going up. And the cause of that, I believe, is uh, entirely because of the deeper integrations with Outlook and primarily with Teams. Mm -hmm. So the yeah. fact that you can have mm -hmm. a unified experience with all of these pieces, like it, Viva Engage is perfect for this scenario. This is a core thing. And I, I've shared again, Yammer stories from years ago that are this exact issue where I was with a company that was acquired uh, and the first all hands, they were trying to answer questions and people sending emails. We had multiple offices that were doing a live stream. And I just like, like, what are we doing? Like, do, do we not have a Yammer Viva Engage account? Log in, everybody shared the link and people started asking questions and then answering them in real time. And we would flag to the live speaker, hey, there's a question that came through on Yammer that asked this. And then we would capture the, their response and add it in. Six, eight months later, we acquired another company, had another all hands, went through and were answering questions for those employees. People, I, like I came late to the all hands and realized people were already in Yammer and accessing the questions, the same questions, pointing redirecting people to that and adding to the, the the knowledge base within that i mean it's it's perfect for that solution well one of the good things about viva engage is, is it is literally about creating a learning organization i mean you've got the social aspect but it's about flattening the lines of the business and you know when it comes to viva engage and you think about you know the team is about your teams it's about working as a team it's a group Whereas Viva Engage is actually about the organisation and it's and it brings everyone together. So if you don't know who to ask, you know, rather than doing a all distribution list in, in mail, which is not what you want to do, uh, it's in Viva Engage that you can put in information, ask questions to the organisation where the other people can actually tag to answer. And it's not just about one person to answer. So, you know, if you're thinking of your SharePoint site and you've got a community, is it you only want, you know, 10 people managing that SharePoint site that are going to answer those questions? Or do you want the organisation? 
answering mm. questions. And that's where you come into being a learning organization because you open it up as a, a community. That's what it's designed and built for is that flattening of the business and providing mm. the opportunities of if you don't know who to ask, ask the business. So, and that's, that's kind of why we really get in and use it. I, th I think the best analogy that people can relate to is that like chat is you and I sitting at our desk or texting each other. Teams is like that cube farm, everybody kind of working there in that space. Yammer is kind of two things or what's Viva Engage. It's like the break room where there's the bulletin board and you can post things and people can consume. And <laughs> here's what my cat ate interested. today. Here, share it with everybody. I've got photos. For me, it's kind of <laughs> like Facebook. Yeah, yes, or, yeah, or it's the auditorium where you have the town hall and everybody can come by. So, so you know, if you kind of think of it that way, you don't want to have, um, you know, in your teams, these all company teams drive me crazy because it's too much information from too many channels coming in one space and overwhelming everybody. That's what yeah. Engage slash Yammer was for mm -hmm. and not having those all company teams. Uh, I just like sharing the fact that at a few years back when they announced that all company channel in teams yeah. uh, at the MVP summit. So you had a very packed room, about 200 Microsoft MVPs sitting in that room. And when they announced that feature, they got booed by the entire audience and people were like MVP. We were upset. We're like, like, that's not the way that you use teams. And so we like, we got it. And I, I think Microsoft went and developed that feature because there were very large clients that were demanding it. And I think it was the wrong thing to do. Or, I mean, look, you know what? I don't care. Have it out there. I just never, I like, I don't look to that. I stay away from those conversations. I participate in the chats and the, in the teams, the channel conversations that are relevant to the work that I need to do. I rarely go in because I never find any you know, relevant information in those all company channels. And that's a problem. People tune it out just like they've tuned out email because they're just overwhelmed by it. And they there's not those focused channels of things that they can visit when they need to know something. And they're missing the big announcements that are like, well, it went out in the all company channels. Like, oh, I turned that out. I tuned that out months ago, you know, and yeah, it. I know all of you that do architecture are sitting here shaking your head at those old company channels, just like mm -hmm. I do. So. Hey, 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 Shari, just from a personal perspective, I my team work on that. So I'm going to reach out to you just to have a conversation about that, if that's okay. Oh, absolutely.